Every time when we start a year, we are full of a lot of uncertainty. Wakati mwingi tunapoanza mwaka, watu wengi hatukui na uhakika kwamba mwaka utakuwa namna gani. Hakuna mtu aweza kukwambia kwamba nina uhakika mwaka huu kila kitu kitaenda sawa. Kama si Mungu ambaye aweza kutuokoa na hata tupange mipango yetu na ikafaulu, hakuna mtu aweza kujidai na kusema ninaweza. Na ndiyo sababu siku kama hii kuna haja kubwa ya kuja mbele yake na kumshukuru. Haleluya. Na ninataka kukwambia kwamba hata kama hujakuja, maadui wako wako mahali wanapanga uovu juu yako. Maadui wako wako katika madhabahu fulani. Masaa kama haya ni masaa ambayo yako na activities mingi sana. Ukienda kwenye mabaa kuna wale wanasherekea pale lakini hawajui maadui wanapanga kuwamaliza. Afadhali wale wanasherekea ndani ya Kristo, Bwana atakuwa ngao yao na ulinzi wao wakati maadui watakapoinuka kinyume na wao. Amen. Tumesoma andiko hili ambalo lina umuhimu sana na ni historia ya mtu wa muhimu anaitwa Musa. Musa aliteuliwa na Bwana kuweza kuongoza wana wa Israeli kutoka katika nji ya ufungwa. Na Musa amefanya kazi nzuri. Lakini alipoanza kazi, alianza kazi vizuri kama mtumishi wa Bwana vile alivyotumwa na Mungu kukakuwa na ufanisi katika kazi yake. Akaweza kufaulu kuondoa wana wa Israeli katika mikono ya Farao ambaye alikuwa mfunga, alikuwa uh, the, the slave master of the kingdom of the people of Israel. And Moses begins the journey with the children of Israel. And the journey was well until the journey reaches on the way and there were challenges. And you must understand kwamba katika maisha haya there are challenges on our journeys. There are challenges on the way. Those who start the journey, nobody begins the journey and he begins thinking he will not finish it. Everybody desires and has already in his mind he knows I'm going to finish this journey. Yoyota anzae safari, wanajua, wanaenda kukamilisha safari vizuri. Hakuna mtu wanza safari na anasema sitamaliza. Kila mtu ana mipango mizuri. Kila mtu ana nia nzuri. Kila mtu anajua atafaulu. Na kila mtu ana nia ya kufaulu katika maisha. Lakini nataka nikwambie kwamba kuna yule ambaye anapinga kila chochote tunachopanga. Kuna yule ambaye anapinga ufanisi wetu. Kila nia nzuri anakuja kuipinga. Na ndio lazima tukubali katika jina la Yesu kwamba lazima tukubali Mungu atuongoze katika safari hii. Amen. Lazima tukubali Mungu aongoze kila hatua za miguu yetu. Paulo akasema katika kitabu cha 2 Timothy 4:7 that I have run the race. Put there 2 Timothy 4:7. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the fight, the faith. It is very, very important ujue kwamba these are statements of a man who is almost to the end of his life. He is almost crossing over to another life. And he is satisfied that he is finishing the race very well. And it is important for us to know kwamba mwisho wa jambo una umuhimu sana. Najua tutakuwa na different and many crossovers ahead of us. But we must understand that ata baada ya kuwa na crossovers mingi, how will be the end of every matter in our lives? I normally tell everybody who comes for crossover service, kwamba last year, kuna wengi ambao walisherekea crossover, but they cannot celebrate now. They are no more. That is what today the Bible say, and Moses told Joshua that you need to be strong and be courageous. Because even what God has promised you, brother, it is not just going to be an easy takeaway. Hatama yale mipango mizuri ambayo ukonayo, haita kuwa tu raisi kwako. Haita kuwa tu kitu cha araka araka. Adui ako. Bibilia inasema yeye huja tu kwa kuua, kwa haribu na kuiba. 
na yeye hufanya kazi yake katika njia hiyo so every plan you have which is good you must be strong and be courageous and you cannot be strong and be courageous to be able to face the adversary in this life without Jesus Christ Moses had known the journey he had known the difficulties of the journey and he had reached a point and he was telling the one who is going to take over from him Joshua we have walked with you you have seen the struggles that I've gone through but be as it may I have not stopped to be courageous and I've not stopped to trust in the Lord and God has guided my steps every day God has helped me all these years that I've led the children of Israel na ninataka kukujulisha mpendwa kwamba ni wengi ambao wanasherekea crossover leo lakini sio wengi ambao watafaulu mwaka ujao wala ambao watafaulu ni wale ambao wako na Mungu na nitumaini na tunawaombea kwamba kila mmoja ambaye yuko hapa na yule ambaye anatutazama watafaulu maishani kwa maana Bwana ni mwaminifu lakini ni vizuri utambue kwamba lazima tukubali kwamba we need to be strong and be courageous for ahead Moses knew that even in the promised land that you are going there there are Jebusites there are many sides there those people who will stand to challenge your success kuna vitu vingi ambavyo vinasimama ku challenge your success na wakati mtu anakuwa challenged katika maisha what comes upon a person is fear na kuna watu wengi kwa sababu ya maisha umepitia mambo umepitia 2022 kuna uoga unaona katika mwaka wa 2023 you are not even sure kama mambo yataenda namna gani maisha hayajakuwa mazuri vile na watu wengi huishi sababu ya historia wanaweza kuwa 2022 hujapitia maisha mazuri lakini hata unapovuka mwaka hauvuki na tumaini ndani ya Bwana umekuja uvuke tu kwa sababu hutaki kulala kwenye nyumba lakini kile Bwana anatuhimiza kwamba hata tunapovuka 2023 tujue kwamba the Lord is saying be strong and be courageous for I am going with you for I will walk with you as God walked with Moses and the same words tuna, tunaona katika kitabu cha Joshua 1:9 When God himself confirms to Joshua, Joshua be strong and be courageous for I will not forsake you, I'll be with you. There is a lot of things that can cause life to have a lot of fear. Kuna mambo mengi ambayo yanafanya mwanadamu awe na uoga katika maisha. Na hata kuna seasons ambazo zinaweza kupita lakini mtu akose tumaini la kuamini kwamba kuna kitu kizuri ambacho kinaweza kutokea. Lakini na kuhakikishia kwamba kila wakati Bwana analeta majira mapya Mungu huwa na mipango mipya juu ya watu wake. Mungu huwa na mipango mipya ya kuweza kupatia mtu tumaini ambaye amekosa tumaini. Na ndio sababu Bwana hajafanya kwamba tunaishi tu. <coughs> Biblia inasema kwamba kila asubuhi his mercies are new every morning. Kila asubuhi Bwana ufanya his mercy to be new for us. Hii ni tumaini Bwana anatupatia kwamba hata baada ya siku kuwa ngumu baada ya siku kuwa na mambo magumu wakati unapoenda kupumzika katika usingizi unapoamka asubuhi unapata kwamba kuna tumaini tena kwamba unaweza kushinda vita ambavyo ulishindwa jana na hiyo ni majira ambayo Bwana ametupatia na mwaka unapokuja kikomo kama huu kuna mambo mazuri ambayo Bwana anakupangia and when we see Paul talking to the people of the Philippians he say Now brethren finally be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. As you cross over to 2023, my message to you is this. We need to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. We need to be courageous that whatever giants that have been stand or are standing against your destiny tomorrow, Bwana atakupa uwezo to disengage and overcome them. Amen. Without expectation there is no receiving of anything. 
without you expecting that indeed 2023 is going to be a year where God is going to do good to you, then don't, don't expect anything from the Lord. Expectation is the one that will open your heavens to draw your blessings to you. And that is why today, even as you come to the closure of 2022, what are the things that are sending fears in your life? Kuna mambo mengi ambayo hayajaenda sawa. Najua hautaona 2022 tena. Na kuna vitu vingi ambao lukusudia kufanya katika 2022. Na sasa wakati mwaka unapokuja mwisho hautaweza kuvifanya. Lakini bado mungu amekupa maisha kwamba unapo ingia 2023. Kuna tumaini la kumaliza kazi ambayo haijamalizika 2022. Kuna tumaini la kushinda vita ambavyo vili kupatia changamoto in 2022. 22. Kuna tumaini la magonjwa ambayo ulikuwa nayo 2022 kuweza kuponywa in 2023. Kwa sababu kila wakati mungu anamipango mizuri na kila mtu. Na nakutangazia in the name of Jesus with the apostolic grace that God has given me. That 2023 will be a year of great works of God. And as we do the great works of God. We shall be strong to stand against our adversary. And we shall disengage all of them. As the Bible says that a thousand shall fall. I declare to you, even ten thousand shall fall on your right hand side. And none shall come by your side. None shall come at your dwelling. May the Lord be your shield. May the Lord be your defender. May the Lord fight your battles. May the Lord stand in the midst of your enemies and disengage them in the name of Jesus. I decree to you, you are not going to be among those ones whom obituaries will be read and your name shall not appear among them that it shall fall by the sword of the enemy. May the Lord preserve your life that you may see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Somebody shout Amen! We have seen the goodness of the Lord in this church. We have seen the goodness of the Lord on this altar. And I stand today that those who have gone to evil altars concerning your name. Wala mbao wanatacha jina lako. Wakisema maka huka zikwe. Maka huka kufe na ajali. Maka huka sinuke. Maka huka sipate kazi. Maka hii gari yake yanguke. Leo na kanusa haya yote. Na simama kwa madabao ya buwana. Na kutangazia in the name of Jesus. Hakuna chochote ambacho. Hatu ya mefanya juu yako. Kitaweza kusimama kinyume na weo. Kila masauti zote za minyanga mkera na zikemea in the name of Jesus. I declare no weapon fashion against you shall prosper. May this year 2023 become a year when your elevation will come, when your rising will come in the name of Jesus. Zabako tabazanta la babo uzaya. Meka tabazote bezaya. Moses tells Joshua, Joshua be strong and be of good courage. Don't let fear take over. Usiache uwoka wawote. Ah, kama siye mongo, tunge kwa wapi leo. Kama siye mongo atutiaye ujasiri. Wale walio tutakia maovo, hatunge kwa hapa. Mungu alie kusimamisha mbaka leo. Ah, wacha kusimamisha kesho. Hauta zikwa. How to end a chain? Lazima kitu kizuri kitu kizuri 2023 In the name of Jesus Somebody say Amen Ukazika la babu zaya For the Lord who was with me Moses tells Joshua He will go ahead of you He will be with you May the Lord who has called me May the Lord who has assigned me, may the Lord who has lifted me, may the Lord who has crowned me with his calling, I decree in the name of Jesus, may the Lord go with you, may the Lord go with you, may the Lord go with you, may your tears turn to joy, in the name of Jesus, may your crying and your weeping turn into joy in 2023. In the name of Jesus, 
Ribabo kozaya mazanta. Rapa kozeke te bazaya. Ma kozete bazaya. Rima babo zaya. Ma kata bazete diriri. Zoko bazanta bazaya. Hata kama unafikiria na fanya mchezo. Na kutangazia kwa sababu. Adoye hana mema na wewe. Lakini mungu ni muamenefu. In the name of Jesus. He tells Joshua I will not forsake you. And we see now as Joshua walks with the children of Israel. They reach a point. And then God tells Joshua circumcise these people. And after they have been circumcised. And they were ready to cross over. And the Lord tells Joshua. Now every reproach of his Egypt that has been upon these people. I have lifted it now. It is no longer going to be with them. And as they cross over to the new promised land. They are not crossing with their curses. They are not crossing with their characters. They are not crossing with their enemies. The reproach which I had was coming from Egypt. We not go with them. And I stand today in the name of Jesus. And I declare to you. Every reproach by the blood of the Lamb of God. The Jesus who was crucified. He was cut for your sake by that blood. Every reproach of 2022. Will not cross over with you. In 2023. In the name of Jesus. Every shame. Every name calling. From men of 2022 will not cross over with you in 2023 oh my god the person on the machine help me my throat I need to declare some things to people. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. There are things sometimes that keep on chasing you when you're about to break through they come and stand before you yet you don't know that these things were chasing over you when you cross over to 2022 they were coming with you but i stand in the name of jesus with the apostolic mantle and i declare that those things are not going to cross over with you ah in the name of jesus you see what I'm declaring, I've not said you put tutor. I said you help my throat. You understand that? Hallelujah. There are things that keep on chasing you. And when you want to become, they come and stand against you. And I'm standing today. Joshua had not crossed into the promised land. He was still at the age. And the Lord tells Joshua, after they are circumcised and this is the shedding of blood and I declare by the cross of Jesus we were circumcised by the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ somebody say amen somebody say amen oh my God and then the Lord tells Joshua Joshua after you have circumcised them now every reproach every shame every sickness every attack that the enemy has fashioned against these people as they go to the promised land they will not stand against them they will stand against giants you know when you cross over with those things you will be weak before the enemy but today in jesus name as you are crossing over i declare those things are being slain they are being slain they are being slain they are being slain in the spirit I don't understand what it is, uh, but you know what has been standing against you in 2022. Kilangomezotezatui. 
I release the anointing of God upon people of God today. May this crossover be the beginning, the determinant of your breakthrough. As you step over to 2023, I declare to you, you are going without curses. You are going without any reproaches of the enemy, any evil fashion against you. You are not crossing over with those things. In the name of Jesus, no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, mighty God, I give you glory. Somebody stand up and begin to declare tongues. The goodness of the Lord in your life. Begin to pray. Stand up and begin to pray. Begin to utter things in tongues. Come on, away, Zonga in Demi. Zonga in Jesus' name. I don't expect people to be looking at me. It is time for battle. Start praying. Pray, pray, pray. In the name of Jesus. Abba Zinti, Diri, Rabba Hadiri, Makosa Taba Zanta, Rika Bahadiri, Maziti Bakoria Mazanta, Makataba Ziti, Makataba Zita, Ramako Labako Prasaya, Babana take die declare, Hatawala Bawana Nita Zama, Queen Emitanao Yakitami, Kilama Dui, Abawa Mesima Mana Silaha, Hawataweza Kuafikia. In the name of Jesus, Rima Hadi Kataba Zanta, Reba Hadaba Zoturia, Rikatama Zotori, Hibabo Zantaba Zitari, Mizol Habika, Zuri Haba Zotu Kabazanta, Rima Katama Zintidi, Riza Tabari, Hibabuza Tababuza, Ramabuza Tabazintidi, Rababuza Labahadi Kaprasaya. Ribako da Hanama Zinti Dididi Zolobo Koriyama Zaya I stand as Joshua on behalf of everyone today and I stand to decree that every reproach and every shame that the devil has fashioned against you shall not prosper over your life in the name of Jesus every reproach and every shame I declare it is being destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus Fire, 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 Holy Ghost fire. I declare that fire over everyone tonight. Uh, that every reproach of Satan uh, is being destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, I give you glory, I give you honor, I give you power and worship, mighty Father. Thank you for what you are doing in the lives of your people. In the mighty name of Jesus. Here comes 2023. You are crossing with your breakthrough. You are crossing with your breakthrough. Somebody pray, pray, pray in tongues uh, as you enter 2023. Go on your knees, go on your knees. Zakataba Baba, Mezikiti Bibi, Ababuza, Ababuza, Ibabuza. Fathers, we cross 2023. We cross with the power of your glory. My God, you are lifting us to another level. Labakuta Bazaya. Kilamutopika 
Nataka utangaze unabii wa 2023. Ni nini unataka Bwana akufanye? Ni mambo gani hao yataki? Ya nene sasa. Yatangaze sasa. Ambia Bwana, sitaki magonjwa. Sitaki kungangana. Nataka ninuliwe. Nataka Bwana niongezeke in the name of Jesus. Rikapa yakuna. Jesus, utaishi kuona uko wa Bwana mwaka huu in the name of the Lord. Yes Lord, yes Holy Ghost. Yes Lord, yes Lord. 
Every soul under the influence of my voice, I surround that soul with the blood of Jesus. I surround that soul with the fire of God, with the fence of protection of God, with the power of breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. of the power of God right now as they begin this year may they begin with you Holy Spirit we may they begin with your new power new anointing in the mighty name of Jesus I declare the baptism of the Holy Ghost I release the power of the Holy Spirit to baptize people here with the new power with the new anointing with the new grace with the new strength Receive that rain. Receive that rain. Receive that rain. Then you flow of the Holy Spirit upon you. Then you flow of the Holy Spirit upon you. Huyo ndi atakusaidia kwa vita. Huyo ndi atapenyeza njia zako. Huyo ndi atakupa ushindi. Nguvu mpya za Roho Mtakatifu. Nguvu mpya za Roho Mtakatifu. Nguvu mpya za Roho Mtakatifu. Bwana nguvu mpya za Roho Mtakatifu. Baba achilia nguvu mpya za Roho Mtakatifu. Ah, nguvu mpya za Roho Mtakatifu. Makazi tebibiza. Zala bakudi dinibiza. Rabaku di 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 biza tababu, rika pa yoku da bahazanta, rima kata bazaya, watu ambao hawajawe kwandimi, hawajapoke ya roho mtakatifu, leo ni wakati wako, hii ni wakati ufalme wa bwana, unafanya kazi, poke ni, poke ni nguvu mpya za roho mtakatifu, katika jina la Yesu. Kira maroho zote tunaziamu risha ziondoke anze ni kupokea nguvu mpya za roho in the mighty name of Jesus Zalabaku dididi zanti abaku da hadaba zikapabo kodidaba ramaku da baka prazaya ibaka tabazaya yes 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 Yes, yes, I release fire to consume every darkness. Ah. 
I release fire to consume every demonic power. Kila madabao ambaye ya meonge kinyume na wewe. Unapo anza mwaka mupia. Na achilia moto wabuwa na juu ya madabao ya giza. Kila ngome, kila sauti ya vinyanga mkera. Sauti ya mapepo. Na ivunja vunja in the mighty name of Jesus. Kuna watu wapa umeuzunika miaka mingi. Lakini unapokea furaha ya buwana. Kuna watu wanapokea furaha ya buwana. Mungu anachilia kicheko, kicheko ya ushindi. Utacheka maadui wako mwaka huu. Utacheka kicheko ya ushindi. Ah, naachilia moto wa kicheko cha furaha. Father in the name of Jesus, I release that grace upon people now. Touch them in Jesus name. Kuna watu na wafungua kutoka kwa ufunga zenu. Nafungua watu kutoka kwa ufungwa wenu. Na wafungua kutoka kwa ufungwa wenu. Wala ambao mmefungwa na nyororo za vitu vya giza. Wale walifungwa na waganga. Na wafungua sasa na moto wa buwana. Na wafungua. Na wafungua. Na fungua nafsi zenu. Na fungua kazi zenu. Na fungua familia zenu. Na fungua kazi ya mikono yako. Na fungua biyashara yako. Ule alie weka irisi kwenye biyashara yako. Na tangaza moto. Ikabaze kuiteketeza. Unanza biyashara yako inainuka. Maisha yenu ya nainuka. Ndowa yako inainuka. Watoto wako watakuwa vichwa wala siomukia. In the mighty name of Jesus. Zakapa, he tabaku tiba zaya kadi di di di. Uba kalamu kuni baza kapazi kayam. Ham prakru di dama kupa kapran di 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 di. Maku prakru di dama kuba hadi di 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 di. Makru di 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 kabari ama kupa kradi di 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 di. Brekri di dama kadi kada hadi kaba. Brekru di da kada kadi kada ba kadi di. Brekri di da kada ba kupa kada da da da. Brekrori kada ba kupra krori da ba kadi di di di. Brekrori kaba kupra krori ya ba kada da da da. Twenty twenty three. Isaiah of focus on the great works of the Lord. Eka pa kupra krora ma kupra zika pa kandi di 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 di. We will do more. Zakali ka pro krori ya ma kandi di di di. Hamaku tama kupra krori. I declare some of you are going to do seven times better. Seven times better. Seven times better in the mighty name of Jesus. Hama kupa kazaya. Wala mbaose. Mwaka huu ni mwaka wakupata puloti yako. Mwaka huu ni mwaka wakujenga nyumba yako. Mwaka huu ni mwaka wandowa yako. Ana chili andowa. Na chili andowa nani enu. Na chili ya wala wanaitaji nyumba. Wala mba wana pokea plotu zao. Hatu ya wezi kwa shikilia. In the name of Jesus. Ika pazota. Ipaka pazota. Rima kupaka tabazaya. Thank you Lord. And I set her free 
for whatsoever the sun sets free is free and a free need. I fill this body with the blood of Jesus in Jesus name. It is well with you daughter. It is well with thee. In the mighty name of Jesus. Unajua wakati mambo kama yanatendeka mtu amekaa hata anaangalia na hajui kwamba Mungu anataka kukuokoa. Watu haswa zenye hawana hawana haja. Hawa ndio wale Mungu anataka kuokoa. Hawa ndio adui analenga. Wakati kama huu wachawi wananena maneno. Sasa hii wanaongea ule adui wa familia yenu ana renew covenants. Anasema iendelee lakini natangaza haitaendelea. Natangaza haitaendelea. Hayo magonjwa hayataendelea. Natangaza hiyo umaskini haitaendelea. Natangaza hautaendelea kugandamishwa. Natangaza hautaendelea kufisha watu wako. Watu wa familia yako watakufa. Wataishi in the name of Jesus. Thank you precious Holy Spirit. Now I pray every garments of heaviness be removed. May everyone who is under the influence of my voice receive the garment of praise. Every disgrace and shame over you, I lift it by fire. I lift it by fire. I lift it by fire. Receive the baptism of goodness. Receive the goodness of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs>